now being served at the coupon cafeteria. Come on, let's go pick up ours as well! Uh, Traveler and Paimon, uh, over here! Are you here for dinner too, Miss Sijuin? Uh huh. And I'm taking the opportunity to prepare Miss Cloran's dinner as well. Huh. You're right! She's actually sitting in the fortress cafeteria! What would you like to eat? Yep, you can. I've already talked to our chef, Mr. Wolsey. It's all on me today, so you can get whatever you'd like. Me too! Don't forget Paimon! No problem. Just leave it to me. So delicious. Is this how it feels to be freeloaders? Wait a second, we did do plenty of work after all. Feeling full yet? How's the food? Delicious! Ah, I'm so glad to see you all so happy. Oh, see the expression on your face just now? But the muscle here just moved. Which suggests that you're feeling quite relaxed at the moment. Sijuin, do you do this to help your patients or to better understand human beings? <sighs> A bit of both, I suppose. I'm a melazine, which means I'm very different from human beings. I must know what you're thinking if I want to take good care of you. You're really good at taking care of people. Even though you're so short, you still talk and act like an older sister. Really? You're reminded of an older sister? <laughs> That's great to hear. Oh, and what did you mean back in Risley's office? When you said that you were protect- Oh, that. I just asked His Grace to look out for those children, especially that diver- Well, thankfully, Glorand is very strong and managed to save him in the nick of time. His Grace also sealed the pipes after Glorand left. Although the path was blocked, we still stationed some guards there to stop anyone from approaching. They were instructed to only open the door once Miss Cl Oh, and I was keeping an eye on Mr. Linney as well. We had to press him, but we couldn't allow him to be in any real danger. You were all super considerate and really thought everything through. <laughs> it's just what we do down here at the fortress. At least this has been His Grace's style for as long as he's been the leader. Oh, I really wish Monsieur Nervula would come down here more often too. I feel... Get a good night's rest, you two. You both worked... How's dinner? It's all right. Miss Sijuin really put in a lot of effort. So we heard that Risley invited you to come down to help, and you saved Fremenay too! Oh, it was child's play. Still, Paima didn't know even Champion Duelist could take on... Oh, and why aren't you eating with Sijuin and the Duke? Won't you get bored eating by your... Miss Sijuin was with you, and the Duke has business of his own. Hmm. Actually, didn't Navia say that you went out for dinner with her as well? Yeah. First time in a long time. First time in a long time? So you mean you've got- In the past. <clears throat> you seem to be enjoying yourselves here. Things will be getting messy at the fortress soon. Don't run around unnecessarily. Time to go! <laughs> Time to go.
much has happened. Parmon just feels absolutely exhausted now that she's finally relaxed. <sighs> I'm on super sleepy. Time to explain, mate. Goodbye. Uh, hey, wait! What's wrong with these people? They won't even talk to They're me. They're here! There you are! Oh, thank goodness! Cristo and Lavaroon, do you know what happened here? We came here especially to inform you. Something seems to have gone terribly wrong just now. His grace is telling everyone Lavaroon was saying you two are new here and you don't have many friends, so you might slip through the cracks. Haven't you heard all the stories like that? An evacuation is successfully completed, yet you only find out once you do a head count that one or two people are- Wait, weren't you the one who brought that up? Why is it suddenly my idea- Hey, shut up! Okay, whatever. The point is, you should come with us. Yeah, he said to get as far away as possible, upwards and outward. Oh no, it can't be that thing! Oh, wait, what? What? Hey, where are you going? We have to go find the Duke! You two just go and get out! Go on without us! Hey, hey! Be careful! Attention! Please evacuate upwards and outwards! Upwards and outwards! If you're already at the topmost layer, then try to move as far outwards as possible. Time to go. <laughs> They're here. Just like I said. You're just in time, hmm? but be ready to run. Won't hold it for long. Find Nuvilet. Tell him the defenses are about to collapse. Uh, then what will happen to you? Until he arrives, we're the last line of defense. <laughs> the gate. 
How long do you think it'll hold? That depends on us. <laughs> Traveler, I need you to head to the Opera House immediately. Farina will soon be meeting with the Knave there. You must protect Farina, and make sure she doesn't spend too much time alone with her. Will do. You have my sincerest gratitude. Time to go! has left instructions, though I'm sure he's already explained this should be a mostly cordial conversation unlikely to give rise to violence, but it would be most appreciated if you could protect Lady Fur- Oh, so you two are the honored guests Miss Farina mentioned. Of course, of course! How could they not attend a meeting such as this? I must always have two or more guests at my dessert table. Otherwise, the occasion would be too lonely and unbecoming of my station. It is my pleasure to make your acquaintance, Traveler. I have heard much of your accomplishments. I am the Knave. already prepared seats for you. Come, sit beside me. Perhaps you two are unaware of how Miss Farina and I do things. You see, we actually recently agreed to get together for tea when we had the time. See this? This is a limited type of confectionery that Miss Farina simply adores. There are only 16 slices sold every day. Here, why don't you and Paimon have a taste? Traveler, what do you think of this cake? That's good to hear. So what Child said was on the mark after all. You do share a taste in desserts with Farina and I. I wonder how he's doing nowadays. You must have heard, right? He's suddenly gone missing. I'm really worried about his safety, you know. Uh, since we're talking about him, I feel like I should add something. His martial prowess really looked... certainly pretty impressive. Oh, so you're also familiar with his aptitude for fighting, Miss Farina. Oh, right. I almost forgot. Child was subdued by Udex Nuvillette right in front of you. Against ordinary people, my colleague would never be on the back foot. But alas, he just never imagined he'd run into such a person. Hmm. I must express my admiration. Hmm. Coming from you, that's not surprising at all. Uh, but I thought you would be happier to hear the news. Of course, but it's still a bit of a shame. You see... I would have been far happier had I received this news somewhat earlier. As you well know, a long time has passed since Child disappeared. Uh, uh, well, in any case, there's no need to worry. We know for sure that Child is still alive. Oh, and just how do you know that? Because... Uh, because we found out... And where did he go after leaving the fortress? Well... 
The fortress of Meripede lies deep beneath the waves. Unless he pranced right out of the main gate, he must have had to swim for it. Do you have any proof that he surfaced safely? Ah, oh, that is good news at least. His sister Tonya sent a letter to Fontaine not too long ago. Since he was unfortunately unavailable, I picked it up on his behalf. Do you have any idea how he usually writes back to his family? Dear Tonya, your letter made me feel like we were still enjoying our time in Snezhnaya together. I'm currently admiring the scenery on the streets in front of the Opera House. Is it something like that? All letters tend to follow the same few formats anyway, right? As long as the contents are accurate, it doesn't matter so- <sighs> Hold on. The water in the teacup is shaking. Hmm. I suppose this is also a sign of things to come, Miss Farina. Huh? Uh, I don't quite understand. Have we entered into the next stage of the prophecy? <sighs> My thanks to you both. I will take it from here. <laughs> sure you don't need a hand? Quite sure. Wow. So, what's your secret, huh? Uh, let me guess. Nah, who knows. Maybe it's just your sense of responsibility. <laughs> hmm. Sounds about right. Day may come when the prophecy is fulfilled and the waters burst forth, but it is not this day. This ancient power could easily obliterate an entire race. A tsunami of fury would unleash endless catastrophe. Forgive me for overruling it. Alright. Seems like the problem inside has been suppressed. Let me guess. We're safe for now. <laughs> Indeed. But only for now. I win this bet. You owe me a present. <sighs> Very well. It was indeed just as you said. You made a bet? We made a bet on the size of your entourage. Cloran thought you wouldn't come down by yourself. I figured you would have at least brought a few people along for appearance's sake. It appears I underestimated just how confidential the mission was. Shouldn't you have gotten used to confidential missions by now? That's just how the courts operate. So what gift must the loser give? Tea? Hmm. He already has tons of tea in his office. I'm thinking about a set of legal codices. That wouldn't happen to be a dig at my lack of legal awareness, would it? Well, I'm sure His Grace doesn't consider the fortress to be outside the law. I was under the impression the residents of a place like this would be uninterested in the legal codices. <sighs> that was obviously a joke. Uh, anyway, you've still got some unfinished business to attend to in the overworld, correct? No need to stay here if you have a pressing matter. We all know you can't leave Palais Mermonia for long. Thank you. 
I hope everything went smoothly with the Fatui Harbinger. I must say, we've spent long enough playing house. Miss Farina, as the Hydro Archon, I am sure you understand the exact meaning of the phenomenon we just witnessed. Or should I say, that's what I originally thought. But looking at your expression, was I wrong? And you haven't a clue? What are you trying to say? At this point, I don't think there's any more need to speak as diplomatic representatives. Allow me to speak to you now as just a Fontanian. You know the prophecy by heart, and also that every part of it is being proven true. Yet, here you are relaxing, drinking tea, and eating desserts as if it's all nothing more than a few stray bugs in your garden. Do you really think that's acceptable? The prophecy's hanging above our necks like a guillotine. Every faction is looking for a way to either avert the disaster or save their own. Even the orphans of the House of the Heart have devoted everything to saving their homeland. But you? It beggars belief just how nonchalant and carefree you have been. From the very beginning, you, the god Fosalor, you have utterly failed to take action. You're wrong. I've never ignored the prophecy, nor have I just been passing the time in self-indulgence. Retract your accusation and stop doubting the wisdom of the gods with such absurd conjectures! I am not alone in my doubts, you know. All the children of Fontaine may be harboring the exact same thoughts right now. Oh, great Hydro Archon. How are you going to save them? Save us? How are the people you've sworn to protect supposed to survive in a land that will soon disappear beneath the waves? I have my ways, and I've been working on them for all this time. Even if you look down upon me, you have no right to judge me! Fontaine will be saved. Even... even if I still cannot see the true future right now, as long as I continue on as I am, I will be able to hold my head up high! Then I ask you, Miss Farina, just what have you been working on? Where can we see it, and what is it doing to help? <sighs> I... My machinations are just like the prophecy itself. They will only reveal themselves at the fated time. It is just that beings like- Mmm, I see. As a god, the proof of your labor always lies beyond prying mortal eyes. Allow me to be so bold as to ask another way. Would it be possible for you to tell us the parts of your plan that are not confidential? Such as- your emergency response plan for the impending disaster? Uh, an emergency response... Oh, that look in your eyes. The... the emergency response plan is also strictly confidential. Then allow me to jog your memory. Miss Farina, what is the purpose of your oratrice mechanique d'analyse, Cardinal? And what do you plan to do with the massive amounts of indemnitium that has accumulated over the years? The Oratrice? It, it's just like it- Hmm. So you also have no idea. If I'm not mistaken, someone's using it to prepare for something. But unfortunately, it would- I first caught wind of this when Linny tried to investigate the Oratrice in the Opera House. You see, even just getting close to the core contaminated him with an extremely large amount of indemnitium. But even if that had nothing to do with you, then what could you possibly be working- Oh, right. I almost forgot. Eudex Nouvellet is not at the tea party with us today. Miss Farina? Ah, uh, yeah, yes, that's exactly- Of course I will. Although, 
I must say, Miss Farina, you seem quite insecure without the Udax buyers. Oh, very well. Let's stop that conversation here. There are still a few slices of cake left, so please, help. Traveler, I heard that you were recently commissioned to handle a few matters on behalf of the Udex. Why don't you take an extra slice of cake? You too, Paimon. Uh, thank you, Paimon will take... Oh, Paimon soup. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> If it's on my tea table, it must be of the highest quality. Uh, yes, and... You are welcome. I'm sure the cake also felt greatly honored to be featured at Miss Farina's table. And I was merely catering to Miss Farina's tastes. See, mm, it is getting late. Why don't we call it a day? There are still a few matters that I need to take care of. Very well. We'll end it here. Mind seeing me off, traveler. We could use the opportunity to discuss child before I must be on my way. Paimon's coming too! <sighs> the tea party turned out... Uh, uh, ahem! Why are you looking at me like that? I'm glad that you were willing to come with me. Of course, child was just an excuse. I have no interest in your dealings with him. That's what Paimon thought! You lent your aid to the children of the House of the Hearth. As their father? I would like to express my gratitude. Do I look like an irresponsible father to you? <laughs> the House of the Hearth is very important to me. That was all. Formal topics should be discussed in formal settings, and informal topics in informal settings. I know you just returned from the fortress of Meripede. Relax, I have no intention of trying to get anything out of you. Linny- They've all been working very hard and have always done all they can to fight back against anyone who tried to stop them. You mean Ridesley. He's a tricky one to deal with. Hmm. It's unfortunate that Linny's so eager to prove himself. By the way, and you can just consider this a bit of idle gossip. You are outside of our disputes, and the freest person in all of Fontaine, able to move around most easily. Allow me to share my perspective. And that's everything that happened during the trial. Master Child was declared guilty and immediately transported to the Fortress of Meropede. Didn't he say he was coming here on vacation? Does he not feel an ounce of shame for all the trouble he has caused? Uh, I... Forget it. He did give us an opportunity. I will be meeting someone shortly. Do you require help with any preparation? No need. I will take care of it myself. I need to meet with Farina, the Hydro Archon. She is at the heart of Fontaine. But what's fascinating about her- Oh? Come over here, you little critter, you! You dare to run from me? Stop right this instant! My goal is just to discover the location of the Gnosis. But I didn't expect the chance to approach Farina to be handed to me on a silver... Pl Anything left unguarded is usually just bait. But no one will blame someone for taking the bait. After all, from the moment... <laughs> It's just as I guessed in the second before I struck. The Hydronosis is not currently held by the Archon. In fact, this Archon doesn't seem like a god at all. And I- Who are you? And, and what are you trying to do? The fear in her pupils is genuine. So perhaps she's not bait after all. 
Either way, targeting her has lost. Hmm. I left the scene with ease. Nobody came looking for me, and nobody could serve as a witness to my near assassination of Fosalor. I suspect, even f not long after, my informants confirmed what I had guessed. After returning to her quarters, Farina quietly cried alone. She was so scared that she could not sleep that night, nor could- There's no doubt that there's something wrong with her. I began to entertain the possibility that she is not the true Hydro Archon. Perhaps, Eudex Nuvillette is actually the genuine article. I have to find the Gnosis. If the Nuvillette hypothesis is correct, he is probably in possession of it. Alternatively, it might have been hidden in a place that's hard- Yes, father. My dear children, please- News from the fortress of Meripede. Master- Master Child has gone missing. On top of that, the contact- Probably the handiwork of that Ridesley. I'm afraid so. This is a good opportunity. The value of a Harbinger is much higher than most would imagine. We now have an excuse to exert diplomatic pressure. Set up a meeting for me. I would like to meet the Hydro Archon and Eudex Nuvillet. Oh, and I have an additional mission for you three. Yes, yes Father. Tartaglia's disappearance was not a part of my plan, but I can use it to make a breakthrough. With this as my excuse, I can ask for an effect. The initiative belongs to the House of the Hearth. My wish to investigate the Fortress of Meripede will be a front. Linny and his group will be responsible for the actual intelligence. You should know the rest. Lenny's group is quite close to you, so... You, you attacked the Hydro Archon? It wouldn't mean anything, even if you shouted it from the rooftops. After all, even Farina herself is still pretending that nothing of that sort ever happened. Uh, alright then. I've now had two chances to enjoy tea with Farina. I have to say, the leadership of Fontaine is even more inscrutable than I had imagined. I once surmised that Eudex Nuvillette must be the Hydro Archon, but now, that doesn't seem right to me either. I am a servant of Her Majesty the Tsaritsa. Over my years of service, I've learned how a real Archon conducts and carries themselves. Whether Eudex- Of course, that is all just how I feel. Gut feelings often do not require justification. It is, however, quite amusing to me that after all my years working in intelligence gathering, I've come to realize I am at a complete loss regarding the identity of the god of the land of my birth. Don't you think Fontaine is quite intriguing? A catastrophe looms, yet many secrets have yet to rise to the surface. Ultimately, though, one must survive in order to do anything else. Should the need arise, you don't need to commit to anything right now, of course. I have a feeling that the situation will continue to evolve, and as your name is often connected with noble deeds, I'm sure we will work together someday. He certainly returned quickly. You must want to catch up with each other, so I'll leave you to him. Hmm. Nevelette, is it over? For now, yes. But this issue will prove quite thorny in the long term. I am concerned that sooner or later the- Thank you for protecting Farina. Hmm. To put it simply, I used my power to force back the Primordial Sea and reseal the Sluice Gate. Hmm. So as expected, the Knave has turned up the pressure on Farina. She's trying to feel her out. Permission granted. You're the real Hydro Archon, right? But... <laughs> you... can't tell us? Then... Then that's okay. We can talk about something else. We won't try... If by the phrase, you guys, you are referring to Farina and I, then although I'm not sure just what you are trying to imply, I must clarify that I do not share her positions on a multitude of topics. I believe so. The fortress has a long and complex history. 
It has seen much grief and... And now, another catastrophe will soon be upon us. I mourn this turn of events. Huh? Why is it raining all of a sudden? You may be closer to the truth than you think. Oh? And what are you thinking? The... Dragon... of... Huh? Please do not be so surprised. <sighs> Farina? <laughs> ah, my apology. We were just guessing randomly. We didn't guess right, did we? You're not actually the Dragon Sovereign of Water, right? You guessed correctly. I sincerely hope you'll be able- Uh, right, of course. We'll definitely help you keep it as- There's still something Paimon wants to ask you, though. Please, go ahead. Well, if you are the Dragon Sovereign of Water, and you are able to force back the Primordial Sea- Then since Fontaine's prophecy is all about seawater, couldn't you just use your- None of the currently living dragon sovereigns in the world, myself included, possess our full dragonhood. They say that when the first usurper arrived on Tivat, they seized a part of the dragon's power. Today, that stolen power is the basis of the Archon's authorities. There are seven elemental Archons and seven matching dragon sovereigns. The dragon sovereign of water who lived through that era perished a long time ago. As their successor, I know far less of that part of our ancient history. In any case, I believe I will not be able to do much unless the Archon disappears and returns their elemental authority to me. Given the status quo, however, I would recommend finding another way to deal with the prophecy. Oh, so even you can't solve- I still have some urgent matters to attend to at my office. If you have any more questions regarding ancient history, you are welcome to- Ah, please go right ahead! There's a place that Paimon wants to go to. Traveler, why don't we pay another visit to the Fortress of Meripede? Paimon is a little worried. We'll see you another time. Take care. <laughs>